The Ukrainian special forces defeated Russian VDV troops seven times in one day. In any war, there are units that distinguish themselves and others that become symbolic of failure. The 331st Guards Parachute Regiment had high hopes of being the first, but now represents the disintegration of Russia's plan for a quick war. The regiment's commanding officer, Colonel Sergei Sukarev, was killed in Ukraine on the 13th of March and was posthumously awarded the Hero of the Russian Federation Medal. At his funeral, Deputy Defense Minister General Yuri Sadovenko said the colonel lived for the future, for the future of our people, a future without Nazism. Casualties among Russian forces are not widely reported in Russia itself, but using open-source material, and found that at least 39 other members of the elite 331st Regiment have died. The men were part of a column that advanced into Ukraine from Belarus, led by Russia's airborne forces, known by the acronym VDV. Their presence underlined the priority of their objective, advancing on the capital, Kyiv. That advance swiftly got drawn into a destructive stalemate in districts on the outskirts of Kyiv which soon became synonymous with the viciousness of the war, Buka, Arpin, and Hostomel. Videos that emerged online from these battles showed combat vehicles used by Russian airborne forces with V signs painted onto them. One video we found shows several damaged light-armored vehicles from the VDV, abandoned after an attack by Ukrainian special forces. Another shows several vehicles from the Russian airborne forces apparently abandoned. The men in the 331st regarded themselves as the pick of Russia's army. In a video posted online last May, a general tells soldiers of the 331st Parachute Regiment that they are the best of the best. The unit served in the Balkans, Chechnya, and the 2014 Russian intervention in the Donbass region of Ukraine, and regularly took part in Red Square parades in Moscow. The 331st was also a showcase for Russia's policy of replacing national service soldiers with contractniki, professionals under contract. It is understandable why the generals should have given it an important role in the invasion. From early March, reports began to circulate of deaths in the 331st. It took time for bodies to be returned to Kostroma, the community where it is based, 300 kilometers northeast of Moscow. As the funerals started, an anguished conversation began playing out on social media. Memorial walls on Vikontakta, the Russian equivalent of Facebook, pledge eternal memory and feature pictures of candles. A woman who says she was the wife of warrant officer Sergei Lobachev writes, Serioza, my most reliable, loving and caring husband. 
Now you are in heaven and you will protect us from there. You will always live in our hearts and you will forever be a real hero to me. On the memorial wall for Sergeant Sergei Duganov, one woman wrote, Nobody knows anything. The 331st Regiment is disappearing. Almost every day, photos of our Kostroma boys get published. It sends shivers down my spine. What's happening? When will this end? When will people stop dying? Her post was followed by another, which exclaimed, Kostroma has lost so many young men, what a tragedy. Another pleaded, God, how many more death notifications shall we receive? Please have mercy on our boys, help them survive, return them back home to their wives and mothers. Clover, delete altitude restriction. I've got a salute the altitude restriction now, nobody. 